Welcome back to my Rad Beauty Blog. Today, Fatty and I are going to review some mascaras uh, that are cruelty free. Uh, she's got little tiny eyelashes, the cutie. So, I must say that for every mascara I used, I do use a primer. So, um, if the mascara falls when I have a primer on, I know it's a real dud. And I've been loving this Essence Primer, the Volume Booster. So this has uh, vitamin E, it's got acai berry in it, and um, it's very hard to get a cruelty-free primer. If you've never used a primer, this is one step that I, whoa, hi baby. This is one step I highly endorse. Um, I'm not a giant fan of face primers, but eyeshadow primers and mascara primers I can't live without. The reason being is they prevent flaking and messy raccoon eyes. They give you more volume than a mascara alone. And a lot of them will have vitamin B5, which actually grow your lashes and condition your lashes. So you're not doing as much damage if you're a crazy mascara wearer like myself. So I am loving this one. It's like five bucks too. And it has a nice, like it has a nice little brush. Um, so it is kind of reaching every single eyelash. So all the mascaras I'm reviewing, I did use that primer first. So the first one is the uh, Too Faced Damn Girl, which is uh, like giant hourglass uh, wand here. And this does give volume, but I like, okay, I don't know. Hourglass brushes are like the go-to for volume, but I couldn't reach every lash with this. This thing's like huge. So you're not going to get the little inner lashes. I couldn't get down to the bottom lash line. It definitely required me to use other little tiny mascaras. And the one I always use to get to the bottom is uh, the Annabelle. This thing is like micro. So I mentioned in another video that I I have problems. You have to be very delicate with this, otherwise it's like a little bit of an eye poker. And I did love the Pixie, Pixie Lash Lift, but that has been discontinued. So I'm back on Annabelle, and I got this as like a two pack. So it's, it's pretty, pretty cost effective, two pack. But yeah, like, I, I don't know. I, I, I like Too Faced, but I do, the Better Than Sex, and now this damn girl, like, they're fine, but if you're spending $32 on a mascara, I just think there's better choices. Okay, the next one um, is actually my favorite. I know this secret when I have a lot of mascaras to go. I was kind of embarrassed to buy this. As you can see, there's, like, a clearance sticker on it, um, and that's the only reason I did buy it. So I was a little nervous that it was like a hundred years old and would just flake. And I don't know what kind of wizardry is in this, but I have had no flaking. And like when things are in clearance, who knows what millennia they were manufactured in. So this I love because I tend to do primer, two mascaras, and then my little like tiny one to get every single lash. But because this twists, it goes... So you have a long option and then you just twist the handle and you get more of like a little chubby option. It does reach every lash. I found that it wasn't clumpy. I found it separated a little. It gave like a nice uh, cat eye effect and it was just clean all around. So I just, I found this an all around good mascara. I'm getting length and I'm getting volume and I'm getting thickness. Um, and it's not crazy and clumpy and it's not hard to use. I'm getting everywhere uh, just by twisting the top. So I do get why this is kind of a cult favorite. Um, definitely my favorite on the list. So this is an Essence. Anytime Essence comes out with a new mascara, like I have to buy it because these are so cheap and I've had such good luck with Essence. Uh, this one isn't my favorite. Um, hi, I'm getting like groped here by Fatty. So this is a fiber mascara and I love fiber mascara. So I was really excited about it. Uh, but I didn't find it very fibery. Like uh, when you use a fiber mascara, it really extends the lashes and you can tell that this is different from a regular mascara because you're really getting 
like a double set of lashes almost. Um, so I didn't really see that effect with this one. And like, I don't, I, I don't know. This is a brush style that I don't tend to come across very often. Um, it was a little bit, I, I don't get it. So it's, it's like the opposite of an hourglass. It's wide in the middle and then tapers out. And I found that it just didn't reach the bottom lashes. Um, it, it didn't reach all the lashes and I didn't find it coated the lashes very well. It was okay. Like it's definitely fine when a mascara doesn't super perform because I double up anyways and to get everything thick and coated and retro the way I like it. So that was what, what the fake. Um, other Essence mascaras are better. But it was, I'll give it a 7 out of 10. So the next one is Burt's Bees. Uh, I got this for free. Um, and this is a brown mascara. Oh my god, it's like a little, it's like breaking. Anyways, so this is like a synthetic brush. Just a very traditional synthetic brush with a straight. And this one was fine. Like, this is kind of like basic basic girl mascara which makes sense because Burt's Bees is like a little bit of a granola brand um so on days that I want a softer look it being brown and it being uh low on the drama side it's totally fine like if you're just looking for a basic mascara this one this one will do it um it does have some like vitamin E and stuff like that in it so it's not gonna be as damaging as something that has like fragrance or other kind of nasty ingredients uh it was a little flaky though and i'm using a primer so and i just would forget about it like it's just one of those things like if you're a you know a low maintenance person awesome if you're like me you'll be like oh my god i've totally forgot i had that mascara so there's that one um now is the okay so i was at tarjay in january and i Oh, that was like one of the last times I went shopping. So I went to uh, Niagara Falls, New York and had to stop by Target and like obviously had to buy Wet n Wild because uh, I don't see that very often in Canada. So I like bought a bunch of Wet n Wild and Elf parents. Anyways, uh, and my family made fun of me, I'm pretty sure because like seriously. Uh, so this is <laughs> Lash Renegade and it has the most obnoxious diamond shaped BS going on here uh, but I will say for what wild like they legit have the bunny so good for them and this is one of those like bells and whistles types of mascara um, where it's like misshapen like it's got a giant ball at the end and it's like the uh, base is like really really twisty and stuff like that which I found using it it it's hard to get the stiff sniff this. Wow, I'm not going to say this like a lady. It's hard to get, you know, the bendiness kind of didn't allow for getting to all the lashes. But I guess that's why you have the crazy ball at the end. So you can kind of do some of this stuff and a little of this. But it ended up being a little bit unwieldy and uh, just a little bit ridiculous. But it's not bad. I mean, like, wet and wild. What do you want? Do you want wet and something wild? You got that. This is both wet and wild so it's fine if you're like 15 not somebody in your 40s buying wet and wilds like i am um but yeah put aside a couple minutes to like jingle around with this thing so the next one is the eye catching mascara from bourgeois and i bought this in a set and obviously, like, it says cat, right? Like, it's all about cat eyes. And obviously, Fatty and I love cat eyes. So I bought the little set. And this is, like, this is a little bit of an unusual brush as well. Like, it dips down. But it's not, like, a full curl-type mascara brush where it, like, really curves up. It's got, it's flat. Um, so it just, you, it just deposits the mascara. It's just, like taking a spatula and just like shoving it on there um but again with like chub chubs like this it's just really difficult to like get any precision to get the little baby lashes in the bottom 
Um, I do like the wider, like that kind of, you know, separates everything out. So that does help to achieve a cat eye effect. The other thing I will say about this that I don't know if it's because I bought it in a set. I'd have to check the other um, full size mascaras, but it's only 6 ml. Most mascaras are like 13 ml. So even though this is like a giant bottle and even though I love the other bourgeois mascara, which is uh, 8 ml. Okay, so bourgeois makes tiny mascaras is what I'm learning IRL guys. So yeah, it's, it doesn't last very long because it really... There's not, there's not a lot of product in there, which I'm fine with, to be honest. Like I love companies that come out with mini mascaras because I have so many mascaras and I'm doubling up and stuff like that. Mascaras don't last very long. So I actually really love smaller product sizes. So I'm not wasting it, but then the price point should be like scooch it down a little bit. I mean, bourgeois, you can't complain too much. It's like a mid range, like $20 ish price. But, uh, still, if you're like hauling that out every three months because it's so tiny. Um, just keep that in mind when you're making your little financial decisions. And that concludes all my mascaras. Uh, hope you enjoyed and stay safe everybody. Please like and subscribe.